this video tutorial we're going to take a look at a neat new tool that enables you to use Google Power Searches and uh, you can target and find all sorts of inter interesting things online. It's called the Power Search tool and I've got it installed here on my Mozilla Firefox browser. Now in the search box you can type in your keyword whatever you're searching for and instead of just performing the generic Google search you have all different types of search options and you need to have a look at these. You have a power search menu which is a drop down menu that gives you different kinds of searches. So here I can search file type which means I can search for PDFs and Postscripts, Autodesk files, Google Earth documents, Microsoft Word documents all these things, it's not searching my computer, it's actually going out using the power of Google to search the entire internet for all these file types and you can also filter them out from your search result. Other types of target searches you can perform is the occurrences and you can target your search to where that word or keyword or phrase is on the page that you're looking for, on the website you're looking for. You can go back in time and see search results, what they used to be and free to use or share gives you content uh, that you can legally use as your own content. If you're putting blogs together or whatever, very handy tool to quickly find content that you can freely use. Other search engines quickly allows you to search about 30 other search engines right here from your browser. So the keyword that you would ha have in the search box here, you could just select here other search engines, Alexa or whatever and it would bring up the search results from that search engine. The split search enables you to compare search engines. That's a little bit more advanced feature that probably people who do search engine optimization would take advantage of, but it's there for you. And then you have a few other ways to target your searches. Then you have the site search and the site search allows you to search the current site you're on and it's very powerful. Let me just show you how that works. I'm going to head over to the NASA's official website nasa.gov and I'm going to demonstrate the site search or the power of the site search which is using the power of Google to search that website. And I'm going to enter the keyword here, Russia. I'm going to click site search and Google's going to perform a site search on the NASA website and see how many results we get. Now here we've got 3,410 results. If you click to the right of the site search, there's a little black arrow pointing down and we can search for pages, images, backlinks. You can quickly see how many websites and which websites are linking back here and you can check for listing in the major search engines. So if you click the images it would return back all the images from this particular website which I've done now and it's just loading up there and here we can see Google's brought up all different images from the NASA website. Next we have the eBay search, nothing interesting there to show. The image search is very handy. Now let me just type in uh, Tasmania, it's a nice place to visit and uh, I'm going to click on the image search and it's going to bring me back results for that keyword Tasmania. Here we can see the Google results. You might find the image you're looking for on your first page but look at this, I can switch search engines simply by clicking here on the left side. Let's check Yahoo results and so here I'm getting the Yahoo image results for that keyword. I can check MSN results and ask results, photo bucket, photo search. Photo search is great for to find royalty free images and then pick search which is another image search engine. So this way you don't have to rely on one particular search engine but you can uh, search all the different search engines for your images. Uh, to the right again on the image search button we have a little black arrow that lets us access the advanced image search so we can just target our image search by you know black and whites, whatever. If you want grayscale, I'll just show you and demonstrate that. 
a grayscale search will bring you obviously grayscale images. Then we have the video search. So by clicking on the video search we get a similar interface and here we have Google, Yahoo, MSN, Ask, YouTube, AOL, Blinks, Crackle, Meta, Cafe. So you can just switch between the search engines once again. You could click on the Blinks and here you would get the results from the Blinks website for videos. I did forget to say on the video search you have the power search as well and you can search by genre and target your image video search that way. You can search different languages, duration, sort by ratings and, and also a range of video host sites right from up there. So this is the Power Search tool and it's available free at powersearchtool.com and you can fully customize it uh, with the options menu. You can choose how it behaves which buttons you want. If you don't want the eBay search you can just tick it here and look it disappears. You can even get rid of the Power Search tool logo and menu but you might want that menu because it offers you, you know, clear the history search and things like that. And let's just visit the home page there. You can get that free and add it to your Mozilla Firefox browser. Download it here. Okay, thank you for watching.